What's going on, everybody? Hope all is well. Week one is in the books. We finished off green. As of right now, we are up right about 8.2 units. So if you bet exactly every single bet I did and did it the way I recommend, you, know, you ain't going to find too many people up eight units in their first in, a, in week one, especially when you don't have no analytics, you don't have no numbers, and we completely could have been so much better. But I want to talk about the rankings, talk about each game. So week two rankings are in. This is on NFL on Fox podcast. These are rankings they have. They have San Francisco for number one. I agree. San Francisco number one. I would personally have the Dolphins number two. The Dolphins look like the best team in the world right now. So you got San Francisco number one. You got Eagles number two, which we shall see. We got Kansas City. Number three, who lost to the Lions without Travis Kelsey. I liked him at three or four. Cowboys can stay at four. That's not bad. They dominated 40 to zero all defense. So you really got to see another game and a decent team playing them to even really judge it. You had Baltimore. They look didn't look as good, but you still got to have them as top 10. Yeah, Buffalo's failed big time. <laughs> Buffalo look trash. I would have them at number 10 right now. They look terrible. You have the Bengals. They look bad. Lions, I actually would have higher. I would have Lions about number seven. But keep us at number nine. I'm not mad at it. Jacksonville. You have, is this the Browns? The Browns. They end up um, pulling it through with the upset. That was that was a good win. Chargers didn't check the Chargers. I seen what you call it, came through with a last-second win with the Saints. So you won't have them too much. I will have Green Bay actually higher because I told you guys I am high on um, Jordan Love this year. Like, I knew he'd be good. Just It only made sense to me, so everybody's surprised. Didn't make no sense. It made sense. I will have them, like, at 11. Jets end up winning, but they dropped down nine, nine places. Like, that's crazy. So they was at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So they went from seven to sixteen after winning. Without Aaron Rodgers, they, they everybody know they ain't going nowhere. Nobody trusts that quarterback. And you have Vikings choke. How Vikings usually choke. Atlanta actually doing something. And you got the rest. And at last, you have Arizona without um, Kyler Murray. I don't even know who the quarterback is over with the Texans, Colts, the Bears. Bears is trash. We knew that'd be trash. And you got L.A. still over there because they don't have no Cooper Cup. So if we look at the games, Lions started it off with a great win, great upset. If Travis Kelsey was there, probably definitely don't win that game. Just literally, we win by one without Kelsey. And Buddy just dropping wide open passes. Kelsey playing, we lose that game. I didn't like our play calling. You know, that besides that, fake punt was crazy. I like that. But outside of it, I, I believe we called it to lose. But we end up winning. Falcons versus Panthers. Pa- Falcons did what they supposed to do. You know, they was uh, favorites. So they dominated, did their thing. I had the Browns for the upset. Watson didn't play great. 154, one touchdown, one interception. but. Burrow looked terrible, like look look bad, and I like that. Jacksonville Jaguars they actually look worse than what I expected. I watched a lot of that game because Trevor Lawrence is my quarterback, my big money fantasy league, and they end up pulling this off at the end. So Jaguars not too high on them. Colts Colts gonna coat. Great win by the Buccaneers. You have Cousins, 334 yards, two touchdowns, one interception. If you just showed, told me that Cousins was going to throw for 344, two and one, and Jefferson have 150 yards versus Baker Mayfield, what did Mayfield have? Mayfield, 173 yards, two, two touchdowns. He just didn't mess up. He just didn't mess up. He did good. Mayfield, Mayfield won me some money, I believe, with completions on my prize pick bet. 
So, good deal. All they got to do is just keep on one on one. Saints pulled that out last second. Titans didn't pose a win that one. They really need to find a new quarterback and just get Tannehill out of there. Like, 16 for 34, zero touchdowns, three interceptions. Tannehill don't need to be in the NFL. You can bring Kaepernick in right now. I ain't played seven years, and he can't do no worse than that. You can put a lot of lot of people that's not playing quarterback right now. Anybody. Like, that's trash. And it's, and it's not like you're on a new team. You're on the team you've been on with the same people. This 49ers win just was dominant. They showed they're the best team in the league. It was all up to Purdy. We didn't know how he was going to react, how he was going to play, and he showed us he that, he that dude. I had the Commanders to win. I just had them to cover the spread. They didn't do that. And Commanders, I had them to be better. They didn't play as what I expected them to be with the Cardinals without their starting quarterback whooping on you. Texans, I had Texans to cover the spread. The Texans, I knew that was bad, but the, just a lot worse than what what I expected. And the Ravens, they was worse than what I expected. Even though they won by this, they still look didn't look good. Like you had a, a fumble from Lamar Jackson, like always. He was efficient, but you know, he only he ain't throwing it far. And one is interception. So this was an opportunity for them to do something. Strout. 242, but no touchdowns and couldn't get no rushing. So this team, offensive and defensive line, can't get the job done. Green Bay, I had Green Bay to win it, and they ended up winning by 18. So that was a good one. I figured they were about to get close to blowing them out. Raiders end up beating the Broncos. Broncos is just not looking good. This was a surprise. I didn't I didn't bet on this one because I had no idea who was, who was going to win. And you see why. It's like you got Jimmy G over there. We didn't. Jimmy G, he just, he don't mess up too much. Like these usually how his games look, but with no interception. Very efficient. Pass and dunk. You had Wilson look great. Two for freaking, um, two for 34. 177, two touchdowns. That's not bad. You should be able to win with that. Now is this two for 11? So is that two sacks for 11? Pressure's like, what's, I have to see how that metric is. See how many times he actually got sacked. I'm assuming he got sacked twice, not a, not 11 times. The Eagles beat the Patriots. The Eagles, I would not have them as a power ranking that high because they was up, what, 14-0 or something, and they let the Patriots come back. Eagles, I can see them just still blowing out teams because they just went cold. When they went cold, they went all the way cold with five possessions without getting the first down. You won't see that happen again. Dolphins, they just going to outscore every team. Defense probably ain't going to do nothing. Just every time you watch them, it's going to be exciting. <laughs> You're going to, I'm taking it over like every single one of their games. Like, and you can push it up and make some money with theirs. So I, I, I love that. Rams with the shocker without without Cooper Cup. I figured Stafford should have a good game. I just didn't know who the hell he was going to throw it to. So he still got his juice, 334 yards, but he had nobody to catch no touchdowns. But look at this. He had two players we never heard of freaking over a 100-yard game. So Stafford got some young dogs. He's saying without Cooper Cup, we are – Good Geno Smith, kind of efficient, but wasn't good enough. So I don't know if you're going to have that Geno Smith luck like we had last year because now he, he, last year he didn't have no expectations. This year he got expectations. Cowboys freaking dominated. And the Bills, this was 100% on Jerry Allen. Not Jerry Allen, Josh Allen. Josh Allen completely dropped the ball, literally. And figure to you a lot of a lot of times. But I don't know what you guys got for the rankings. This is what I have. If you guys want these bets early, I'm gonna be doing Thursday night football. It's gonna be interesting to see. I haven't looked into it yet, did any predictions yet, but you guys will have those bets early. Come support team, become a Patreon Hall of Fame member. Talk to y'all soon.